Hello viewers, welcome to our YouTube channel CC Raj GC Kota class. My name is Dr. Rajendra Singh Rajao and I am an assistant professor in department of geology, government college Kota under college education Rajasthan. In this video we will discuss about coloration in fishes. Fish may coloration uh, due to the presence of pigments ki vajay se hota hai jiske karan uh, fishes brightly colored hoti hain kuch fishes uniformly shaded bhi hoti hain yahan par kuch fishes ke diagram is slide mein dikhaye gaye hain jo ki brightly colored hai sabse pehle hum keresis ki baat kare jo ki ek gold fish hai jo ki golden color ki hoti hai dusra agar hum baat kare botia ke bare mein to botia has black bands against yellow background you can see here black bands against yellow background then in colisa there are 14 orange color bands you can see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 and total 14 bands are there which are orange colored running obliquely from back to the ventral sides then in mistis uh, there are strips on golden color uh, there are three or four longitudinal back strips on golden color so these are brightly colored fishes uh, which shows coloration in fishes and as uh, we have already said that that, uh, that this coloration is due to the presence of pigments then uh, the this slide indicates the that the color of the fish is due to the pigments and these pigments are present in special type of cells that are chromatophores now we will discuss another type of specialized cells iridocytes in the next slide first uh, we will discuss about these chromatophores the chromatophores contains various kinds of pigments and these are branched cells lying in the dermis various kinds of pigments such as keratinoid then uh, these provide yellow or red color then melanin which provide black color and purine that provides white or silvery color and many other pigments are present in fishes which are present in uh, these chromatophores so the chromatophores are of following types and the first is erythrophores which provides red or orange color then xanthophores which provide yellow color and then melanophores which provide black color so uh, these are the chromatophores which contain different types of pigments and other colors like the blue green brown are due to the mixing of three kinds of chromatophores so these are chromatophores and these uh, are mixed in different proportions to produce different colors in fishes and these are pigments which provide the colors the red, red yellow and orange pigments are taken through food while the black pigment is the result of breakdown of amino acid that is a tyrosine so these uh, are obtained from the food and this is produced by the breakdown of amino acid tyrosine so uh, these are chromatophores and which contain pigments and the different proportion of the mixing of these chromatophores produce different colors then the next special second type of specialized cells are iridocytes which are responsible for uh, color in fishes uh, these cells are also known as mirror cells and due to these are known as mirror cells due to the great reflecting power possessed by them the iridocytes contain guanine uh, which is a white opaque silvery crystalline material and occurs in the form of crystals granules platelets then the iridocytes uh, gives white or silvery color to the body uh, we can say that the chromatophores and iridocytes are present in the integument 
above and below the scales and their number varies in different species and different parts of the body of the same species usually chromatophores are larger in on the dorsal side of fish while the iridocytes are more numerous on the ventral side so the iridocytes are more in number on the ventral side while the chromatophores fours are more or larger in the number on the dorsal side the relative number of chromatophores kinds of pigments present in them and the manner of their distribution on the body results in a variety of color patterns seen in fish to yahan par teen cheeze mukhya roop se dhyan rakhne wali baat hai jo ki coloration ke liye responsible hai first is the number of chromatophores then the second is the type of present pigment present in them and the third is manner of distribution that how they are distributed in the body and then Uh, we can see here that in short tail that is zipho for us hilary uh, the beautiful color is due to the presence of xantho erythrophores this is a combination of xanthophore and erythrophore uh, that is uh, we have already discussed here xanthophore and erythrophore so um, there is a lot of mixture of color in this short tail this is a non short tail because of the sword like tail zipophorus hilary and the beautiful coloration is due to the presence of xanthoerythrophore uh, which contain yellow pigment in the center of the cell and the red pigment in the process of the cell so it contains both yellow and red pigments xanthoerythrophores the red granules consists of an outer limiting membrane and inner lamellae so uh, this is a beautiful fish with beautiful coloring pattern due to xanthoerythrophores then uh, we we will discuss in this slide about the mechanism of change in color several species of fishes can change their color so as to adjust to the surrounding a temporary change in color is affected rapidly by रीअरेंजमेंट ऑफ पिगमेंट सेल्स यानी कि जब रीअरेंजमेंट होता है पिगमेंट ग्रेन्यूल्स का तो उससे कलरेशन प्रभावित होता है कि किस तरह से पिगमेंट्स अरेंज होते हैं क्रोमेटोफोर्स के अंदर वो एक टेम्परेरी चेंज क्रिएट करता है लेकिन अगर परमानेंट या सेमी परमानेंट चेंज अगर हमें चाहिए फिश फिश अगर करती है तो उसके लिए दैट इज अकर स्लोली बाय द इनक्रीज और डिक्रीज इन द नंबर ऑफ क्रोमेटोफोर नॉट ऑन इन द arrangement but uh, there should be a change in the total number of chromatophores for a permanent change in color uh, then generally change in color of fish is uh, due to the concentration of pigment toward the center of the cell or their dispersion that is a concentrated or uh, dispersed in the pigments uh, if pigments are aggregated then fish fish becomes light in color and when the pigments are dispersed in chromatophore then the fish becomes dark darker so uh, this is depends on the arrangement of pigments in chromatophore that they are aggregated then fish is light and if they are dispersed then the fish is dark uh, there are two mechanism uh, which uh, control the change in color uh, first is uh, neural control neural control means chromatophores in several species are uh, supplied with nerves and neurons that produce chemical messengers called <coughs> neuro humors yani ki neuro humors kuch nerves ya neurons ke dwara produce kiye jate hain jo ki in chromatophores ko activate karte hain or it is believed that there are two kinds of nerve fibers having opposite effects yani ki do tarah ke nerve fibers honge kuch neuro humors ko secrete karte hain जिससे कि पिगमेंट्स का डिस्पर्शन होगा और कुछ जो होते हैं वो इनको ब्लॉक करते हैं सिक्रेशन को जिससे कि कुछ इनके कंसंट्रेशन को प्रभावित करते हैं तो वन इज़ रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर डिस्पर्शन एंड द अदर टाइप इज़ रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर कंसंट्रेशन and the aggregation and dispersion is responsible for the color of fish then hormonal control uh, pituitary gland is mainly responsible for migration of pigment granules in chromatophore 
and it has been observed that the color of fish becomes light due to aggregation as you already discussed and dark due to the dispersion of pigments uh, and hormone that is melanophore stimulating hormone is well known and it is also known as intermediate is secreted by pars intermedia of hypophysis yani ki ye pituitary gland ke pars intermedia ke dwara stravitri hormone hai jise msh ya intermediate kehte hain jo ki uh, iske dispersion ko create karta hai jisse ki skin dark ban jati hai so uh, in this uh, slide we have discussed that how the mechanism is controlled by neuron nerves and hormones to change the color of fish then what is the significance and use of the this coloration patterns first of all uh, the it is most important uh, in the protection of the fish by concealment that is also known as camouflage yani ki background mein ye fish uh, apne vishesh coloration ke karan chhip jati hai jisse ki apne aap ko shatruon se protect kar pati hai enemies se protect kar pati hai दूसरा जो इम्पॉर्टेंट इसका इम्पॉर्टेंस है दैट इज फिश इज एबल टू केच द प्रे बाई डिस्क्यूज यानी कि वो जैसे अपने आप को फर्स्ट पॉइंट में अपने आप को बचाती है इसी इसी तरह सेकंड पॉइंट में वो प्रे को कैप्चर कर लेती है और प्रे उसको आइडेंटिफाई नहीं कर पाता है ड्यू टू द डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ कलरेशन अकॉर्डिंग टू द बैकग्राउंड देन कलरेशन इज ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टेंट इन सेक्स रिकोगशन एंड द फिश इज fish uses its colors to advertise the presence of the fish so these are the some points uh, on the basis of which we can uh, understand the coloration in fishes uh, uh, and in the summary we can briefly discuss that what is coloration and how it is produced in fishes there are two types of cells which is responsible for coloration first is chromatophore and the second is iridocytes and uh, chromatophores provides a different combination of colors while the iridocytes present white uh, white and silvery appearance to the fish due to the guanin then uh, change in color is controlled by two mechanisms first is neural control and the second is hormonal control and the hormone msh or uh, intermediate produced by pars intermedia of hypophysis is responsible for control of coloration in fishes while the neurons or nerves uh, secrete chemical messages that is neurohumors which activate the chromatophores and in the end there are three main functions of this coloration first is protection of fish that is camouflage and second is uh, to catch the prey by disguise and the third is sex recognition to advertise the presence of the fish so hope you enjoyed this video thanks a lot for watching this video